Hi, I'm Chef Jen, and I'm here with my friend Jared, and today we're making sheet pan turkey melts. So we've already started by washing our hands, and we have our cutting board here. It's nice and secure, and what that means is it's not going to slide around as we're doing our chopping. To start, we have some iceberg lettuce. We've already washed and patted it dry, so it's ready for chopping. So what we want to do is just take each of the leaves, and we can either put them upside down, or we can try and roll them up tight, whatever is easier for you. And we're just going to slice it up. You can hear that it's nice and crispy and fresh. So we'll put our knife back down, and we'll just set it aside until after. So next we're going to take our softened cream cheese and we're going to combine it with some mustard and salt and pepper. A little bit of pepper and then we're just going to stir it together until it's all combined. This is the spread for our sandwich. If you find your cream cheese is too hard, you can microwave it for just a couple of seconds. You don't want to melt it, you just want it to be soft enough to squish around in the bowl and mix up. And while Jared is doing that, we've already preheated our oven to broil or high heat. And we have our baking sheet here. So we've lined it with parchment paper so that the sandwiches don't stick. If you don't have parchment paper at home, you can use cooking spray. Just spray the whole bottom of your pan and it'll work just the same. I think that's good. That looks great. So now that our cream cheese is ready, we're going to take our whole wheat bread and we're just going to spread it out on the pan into a single layer. And we'll spread each piece with our cream cheese mixture. So I'll hold the pan for you. And it's just like you're buttering a grilled cheese. You want to spread that cream cheese mixture evenly over each piece, and as it cooks, it's going to melt. So the same thing for the second row. We're going to spread our cream cheese over each piece of bread, and we're going to keep the cream cheese facing up. Great. Now we'll move on to our turkey. So we'll take three to four slices of turkey for each sandwich. That. And we're going to alternate each piece of bread. So I'll put turkey, and Jared, you can put cheese on every second one. Okay. Yeah, so we want turkey on one side, cheese on the other. Yeah, just like that. And if you don't have turkey at home, or you don't like it, you can always use ham or roast beef. So Jared, would you mind grabbing the oven door for me? So we want to put the sandwiches on the top shelf of the oven or the top rack until they're done. They'll be nice and golden brown, that cheese will be melted, and the edges of the crusts will be crusty. So Jared, I think it's time to check our sandwiches in the oven. They should be done cooking. Let's open it up. I think they look great, don't you? Yeah. yeah, so we have some nice browning, the cheese is melted, so our next step is we're going to take some of this lettuce that we chopped earlier, and we're just going to spread it on top of the turkey. So do you want to do that row, and I'll do this row? There we go, that looks awesome. So now we're going to take each half, so we'll take the piece with the cheese on it, and we'll put it on top of the turkey and the lettuce. Just like that. Next, we'll take each sandwich and we'll cut it in half. So we'll put it onto our plate and then we'll take an apple. Take an apple and we'll just cut it into slices. So 
So flat side down so it doesn't slide around. And just cut as many slices as you like. Put that on our plate with our sandwich. And there we have our sheet pan turkey melts. Good job, Jared. High five. <laughs>